In this video, we're going to be learning how to use 3D Snap by SwiftXR. To get started, go over to figma.com slash community slash plugins and search for the SwiftXR 3D Snap. Select try it out and click on the run button to install the SwiftXR 3D Snap plugin. Once you get here, you are required to sign in if you have an account and if you do not have an account you can click on get started to create a new account once you're signed in you should see the swift xr hub that allows you to create projects or use custom made templates go over to create project and give your project a name now this is the swift xr editor where you can create your 3d models and generate an image from it or generate a gif to get started, go over to the left side here, select components. We would be using the Sketchfab integration on SwiftXR to get access to millions of 3D models that you can use within your project. In here, we would select a really simple 3D model. And with a 3D model like this, you can generate a quick image and add to your project. Also, you can use the 3D snap to create a GIF and also generate multiple images at once. We have this project set up here to be used for a cash showcase. And to get access to the plugin once again, go over to the top left corner, select plugins and select the SwiftXR 3D snap. And in here, we would create a new project. And we would repeat that same process once again. Go over to component stores and select the Sketchfab model and search for any 3D model of your choice. So I would be using this animated car. Once this is imported, go over to the GIF settings, increase the GIF duration to about five seconds and hit generate GIF. Once that is done, you should see it show up in the UI project. And let's just drag this to the center here. And to preview the GIF itself, go over to the properties and under here, hit play to preview the GIF. And now that we have that done, we can then go back to the project and generate multiple images of the car model from different angles. This time around, we would be generating images of the car from different angles. To do that, you can empty your canvas by selecting the empty canvas button at the top here. Go over to the components tab and drag in the two column layout. Head over to the layers tab, open it up, select the row, go over to the dimension and set the height to 100, view height. And once you have this done, go over to the files and drag in a 3D model of the car we imported using Sketchfab into the columns. And now that we have this, select each 3D model and disable the automatic rotation and panning action. And now with this setup, you can change the direction the car is facing and use it to generate different 3D images. Select generate image. And now we should have the four images generated and you can just use this within your project. Once you have this done, select the images and drag them into your UI frame. And with this done, select your frame and prototype. 